Hi guys, it's Tony here from the Heritage Line. On this video, I'm going to show you how to make an LED tester. Very simple components, involves a 9 volt battery, easy enough to get a hold of. And to be honest, I saw this on one of the Facebook pages, I thought, what a brilliant little tool. Handy if you're messing around with LEDs, great for checking your wiring on the LEDs. And also if you're wiring up SMD LEDs, those are the very tiny little ones that you get on the packages. Handy for those. You can check the polarity of the LED before you wire it. And you can also check your wiring afterwards. And on the second part of this video, that is what I'm going to show you. How I wire up an SMD LED. Now that's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it guys? But there you go. The very tiny things. The one I'm soldering isn't relatively tiny compared to some of the others but it gives you a general idea now if you're going to do this guys be prepared it's patience and practice the tinier you go the more delicate the electronics is so you will burn one or two leds out but that's the whole point of the tester you can test if it works test how you're doing and believe me guys it'll improve your soldering skills as well guys so if you want to take it to that level there you go. So, on with the video, onwards and upwards. Catch you later, guys. Stay safe. Right, guys, on this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a quick LED tester. Very, very basic, very, very easy. But it's one of those tools that might come in useful, especially if you're doing a lot of LEDs and you want to make sure that they work. Especially if you're going to start soldering wires to LEDs. So this is what we're going to use. We've got a 9 volt battery connector there. Quite easy to pick up. Obviously a 9 volt battery. Got some crop clips. A black and a red. So I know which is the positive and the negative. And we're going to use a 1K resistor. Now I've got two kinds here. We've got the smaller kind that's a quarter of a watt resistor or the big kind which is a one watt resistor now what you need to decide is are you just going to be testing one LED or are you going to be testing a chain of LEDs in my case I'm just going to be testing one LED I don't need to test a wire a chain of LEDs so I'm going to stick to the quarter but if you're always going to do five six seven LEDs in series then I'd use the bigger one but we're not going to use the big one today I'm just going to use this this little quarter watt resistor so all I'm going to do well there's some heat shrink there as well guys so what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder that resistor onto the red wire so we'll do that now so that's that bit done we're just going to tin the end of that put me like that that's been wire tinned so on my next job I'm going to cut a bit off my resistor there and we'll tin that as well There we go, that's that. So now what I want to do is I need to solder that onto there. Now some people might have helping hands and things like that. Yeah, they work, they do the job. But well, I'm just gonna go down and dirty. It's a bit of blue tack. Stick my LED in that way. All I've got to do now is concentrate on holding the wire and we'll get it tinned. There we go, job's a good one. So that's that bit done. Next job, again, cut the end off. I'm just dipping the end in a little bit of flux, that's all guys. Again, just tin that a bit. 
that's tinned again now then I want these ways about the same length so this is what I'm going to do so we'll get that tinned off as well Now sometimes, sometimes you'll tin these and that wire might be a little bit long, if it's a little bit long just trim it back a bit, simple as that. So again, use my modified holding hands, a bit of blue tack, a little bit of solder. And there we go, job done. So that's a 1K resistor there in my wiring. Right, now I'm going to isolate that. This is where your heat shrink comes in. A little bit of heat shrink. Don't put that straight over. Just like that. Now some people they'll just use the back of an iron like that and that works or another option just get a lighter run it straight down just like that and jobs are good in so there we go so 9 volt 1k they're not actually a bad length Oh. We'll leave them up. Now there's our two bits of wire. Get them tinned again. Right then. So they're tinned, so now we've got to get them on off these crocodile clips. So, first thing we're going to do is we need to make sure we get the covers on the wires first. There we go, there's the covers on. Now then, what we need to do is we need to... Right, what am I doing? I'm doing the black one first. I'll do the black one first. there that's in we'll do the second one now I'm just using a little bit of flux Nice big blob. Get me wiring, so I want it about there. So we go, that's soldered in. Next job, you could use some crimps for this. Right, got some pliers.
There we go, that's crimped. And again, same on this side. And that's done. Right then. Now, this is the tricky bit. Trying to get that back into there. And the easiest thing I've found is all you need to do is put something in the jaws. Like that. And then with a bit of luck we should be able to there we go push it on get it to the right spot take your item out it's covered just like that there we go as simple as that so, let's see if it works. Alright guys, I could barely see the light myself. There you go. That's better. Prove it works. There you go. So there you go guys. One very quick, easy, easy to make LED tester. So very basic components, 9 volt battery, connector lead, resistor in the middle heat shrink over that so you don't have any problems and a couple of crock clips there you go right guys we're gonna have a go at wiring up some of these SMD LEDs you see how tiny they are these are the smallest And normally I get the small ones pre-wired but in this case I thought I'm gonna have a go at wiring some up push one out and this is your LED that's what it looks like so that's what we're gonna have a go at wiring up guys this is just sticky back tape in fact, I've not even pulled the thing off it yet. There we go. So, so this is what I want to solder to. So we'll turn it around. And we're just going to put it on there. Like that. Right, first thing I need to do... Is I'll take in a little bit closer if I can. First thing we need to do is see which way around it lights. Okay. So we know red is this side, black is that side. Right, that's a good start. That's red, that's black. So, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to put a little bit of flux on there, and then that will go onto that side. 
Right guys, you've seen these before. These are my pre-soldered LEDs that I actually buy. The very, very tiny ones. And the wire I'm currently using to show you how I wire up an SMD is simply off these wires here. When I've actually wired them in and cut them short, I've kept the ends. And that's the actual wire I'm using. So I just thought I'd tell you what wire I'm using for this project. So my next job, I just need a little bit of solder. So I've just got a tiny bit of solder on there. And we need to try and hold this in exactly the right position. And that's it. Literally just a dab on. That is what we're looking at. So again, just flux me end. So I've got a bit more solder on there. And it's all about just getting this in the right spot. Which I think is about there. That's it. And there you go, one LED, and that's how you wire up LEDs. Trick is, a little bit of flux on the metal, a little bit of flux on your wire, blob of solder on the iron, and literally just get the wire exactly the right place, and literally just a quick touch. Very, very tiny soldering. I appreciate this isn't for everybody, but I just want to show you how I wire SMD LEDs up. Obviously it's not very bright because to be honest there's not much power left in my battery. But you've seen me build the tester and this just tells me it works. If I put 12 volts through that now you'll see a big difference. In fact, I'll do that. Why not? We'll go get 12 volts and we'll put it through now. Right guys, I've connected up to my 12 volt supply now and this will show you how bright this LED actually is. I'll just connect it up for you and look at that, look how bright that is. Jobs a carrot. So there you go guys, but you must remember going to use 12 volts you need to have at least a 1k resistor on it so we're going to leave it there now guys so we'll catch you later and hopefully i've got something else a little bit more interesting to look at bye for now